Remember Vicky Leaks? The Twitter feed was launched after Public Safety Minister Vic Taves tabled a controversial internet surveillance bill. The feed, also controversial, contained details of Taves' divorce. Today, the now former liberal staffer behind it faced a parliamentary committee and said he has no regrets. Our Terry Malewski has the story. Terry. Well, Diana, the government's sweeping plan for internet surveillance is way on the back burner because of a backlash. And today, the government set out to embarrass its critics. But it didn't turn out that way. I am Vicky Leakes 30. Adam Carroll was meant to be a sacrificial lamb. He was fired as a liberal staffer because of Vicky Leakes 30, the account he used to tweet embarrassing details from the divorce files of Public Safety Minister Vic Taves. But Carroll had no apology. The minister felt strongly that he should know everything about us. Perhaps we should know a little more about the man who wants unrestricted access to our information. Carroll was summoned by the Conservatives, who hoped to rake him over the coals. So is this common for the Liberal Party? They, they have files on ministers, they have files on MPs, they collect dirt. But Carroll had come to play offense, uh, not defense. Carroll, uh, I urge Canadians to stand up to this government and fight for our collective right to privacy. The opposition never wanted this hearing, Mr. but they too Carroll, seized the opportunity. Uh, Mr. Taze is a, a very easy target for criticism because uh, he uh, does say some pretty stupid things. And Carroll had obviously prepared for this day. Members need to accept your personal life is fair game. That's the world we live in. I'm not going to try in any way to suggest that somehow aspects of my life are off limits. Who said that? Minister Taves. Still, the Conservatives stuck to their plan to attack the Liberal. This was nothing but a partisan activity with coordination from the Liberal leader's office, and I believe you've taken a bullet for the team. I disagree with everything that, uh, that Mr. Del Mastro said, uh, as, uh, to use his words, uh, baseless smears, uh, or in the acronym BS. So, after much hand-wringing about a lowly opposition staffer being beaten up by the government, turns out Adam Carroll gave as good as he got. As for the Internet Surveillance Bill, it's still going nowhere. Diana. Thanks, Terry.